So a few weeks ago, we built this snake pit skinny. I call it the snake pit skinny because it's in this wood pile, it definitely has snakes, but the skinny line was actually made from dead trees. We cut down some dead trees and dragged these logs over here and we didn't cut them up into small little pieces. We brought the entire thing over using the winch in the gator. Now in this particular situation, we were able to park the gator over there, run the winch cable out and drag the logs wherever we wanted to. But there are a lot of places in my yard where I don't want to cut the trail wide enough for the gator. So I started looking for winches that I could bring out in the forest, like little 12 volt winches that I could hook to a drill battery. And then I found one that I thought was perfect. This is the Warren drill winch. You hook your drill up right here, any cordless drill, and it can operate this thing. The fit and finish is really good. It looks good. It's got a little window where you can see the winch cable. They have a nice heavy hook on the back. You have a lock and unlock over here so you can pull the cable out yourself. And it says here that it can pull 500 pounds. So I'm willing to bet it can probably pull more. So we're gonna go and use this for some actual work that I'm gonna need for next week. And then maybe we'll have a little bit of fun with it and see what it can actually do. Here's some dead wood over here. It doesn't look so good. It's kind of eaten by bugs. I don't know if uh, we wanna use this. The further we get, <laughs> the further I'm gonna have to drag this freaking thing once we find it. This is, I believe, garbage pine. That's a native species to uh, North Carolina. It looks like we have something a little more usable out here. This piece right here actually looks to be in good condition and I could probably drag the whole thing out. How hard is this to move? Oh, this is heavy, folks. Um, at least for a little guy like me. I'm gonna wrap this rope around this piece of dead tree. This way I don't mess up the winch cable. Oh, this is not easy. Ugh. It'd help if I knew how to tie knots. Now we need something to brace the winch up against. This tree looks as good as any. Loop the winch around here. Okay, so we can unlock this here and we can pull the cable out. Okay, lock her back up. All right, we're safely hooked in there. Seems fairly effortless. <laughs> I just need to get it over there, and then I think it's wide enough to get it on the hand truck and get it most of the way back. Is that my drill? I'm thinking that's a protection, like a torque limiter inside the winch. I think that the log is binding up on the topsoil over there. There we go. Yeah, now we're not getting the limiter at all. I gotta say, this is gonna save my back big time because I'm out here every week trying to come up with content, building things, and oftentimes, it's just me. Okay, drill does not sound good. It's smoking? That's kind of normal for Ryobi. Cost was no object here. You know, we could just fly this thing out with a helicopter or whatever what I wanted to avoid. I wanted to avoid digging up my trail over here because once you get past this loamy stuff, you have peanut butter. Like this clutch is kicking hard. I had high hopes for this thing, but I'm starting to have second thoughts. I mean, Kevin and I could probably sort of muscle this thing around. It's not that big of a log. It can't be more than 15 inches in diameter and we can't, what can you pull with this? I considered cutting this into smaller pieces, but I really want as big a piece as possible because some parts of the wood might be messed up. I want to save as much of it as I can. Low gear on the drill. This is unimaginably slow. All right, I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Channel your inner grandpa. I can't believe how this is actually working right now. I wonder how many people are gonna unsubscribe today. I'm like, why am I watching this idiot? Oh, now what? I know how this is gonna go already. Okay. Am I gonna have to winch this thing the entire way down the trail? All right, winch time. Just, 
inevitably in the comments, it's like, you should just use a track hoe and just pick it up and bring it out there. And it's like, well, would that be a very interesting video? Using the right tool to move things. No, that's not what you're here for. All right, we're home free. Now we're really putting this thing to work. Okay. We're so close, we can mill it over there on the forest road. We just can't do it out here. Oh, I want a nice flat spot to set up my saw horses. The strategy is use the high speed for the easy pulling, and then when it starts to work hard, switch it to low gear. But if you use low gear all the time, you're gonna be here all day. I mean, it's inch by inch. My poor trail. This sucks. It's hailing right now. There's ice balls hitting me in the head. Look at all of them bouncing on the trail over there. I can just get it around this turn and we're like home free. Then I can just hook it up to the gator and bam! If I were to do this again, first of all, I would try and get some kind of a sled and I would get this onto the sled because it would move down the trail much easier. If I was doing it by myself, then I guess I would have no choice but to use the winch or something, but this is not a good way to move uh, timber around. However, it was a really good test for that little winch, and I'd say it somewhat passed if you're not moving anything this big. I mean, we really put this thing through the ringer. All right, that wasn't fun at all. I said we were gonna have some fun with this thing. It's time to make good on that. When I wanna have fun with the product, the first place I start is the warnings. Never exceed 500 pounds. We did that, they spoiled the fun with that torque limiter. Never use product if wire rope is damaged. Okay, that, that's fair. Never use as a hoist. Say no more. I've gotta find a suitable tree limb or something. Uh, I've got an idea. So obviously, I'm gonna recommend you don't do this. I'm sure you guys can do the math at this point. It's Saturday, I could be just laying in bed, I could be hiking, bike riding, but this is my job now. It's working! Even though it's not that high, it's sketchy. <laughs> Holy crap! That was, oh crap. <laughs> now what the hell am I gonna do? Okay. Let's see if we can lower her down. Put in reverse. Uh, I got myself into this. Ugh. 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 All right, I think I'm gonna have to. Ooh. Oh, that worked. All right, up until now, we didn't do anything practical with this. Um, one use case that I could see is recovering a UTV if you don't already have a winch on it. This will only pull 500 pounds, but if the UTV is like in the mud and you just can't get the tires going, can you pull it up a slope? So that's the question. I'm gonna put the gator in neutral. I forgot we were still on a slope. Don't uh, act like you never made that mistake. Oh, easy, making easy work of this. But we're barely on a slope. Once it gets to the slope, we'll see where this thing's heart's really at. All right, it's starting to strain a little bit. So I'm gonna throw the drill in low gear. She's moving, slow as hell, but she's moving. Up. Nah, we got that torque limiter. Do not rely on this for self-recovery. It's, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna leave you high and dry. And that brings up an important point. I'm trying to figure out what this thing really is designed for, what this thing could really be useful for. I was able to pull a small piece of timber out of there. I was absolutely able to uh, hoist myself up to the deck, but they don't recommend you use this as a hoist. Although we didn't need one for the log, we could have used a snatch block or any type of pulley, but that would also cut the speed in half, and this thing's already excruciatingly slow. The verdict is, it's got a great fit and finish. It does what it says. Very smooth operating, good quality hooks, good quality handle, good quality everything, but what can you really use it for? If you didn't find this review useful, I hope you at least found it entertaining. If you wanna know what I did with all that timber, uh, watch my video on my other channel. I'm gonna link it below. Otherwise, thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time.